congratulations. You all just passed Musical Theatre 101. Every one of you. All right. The Greatest Showman. The Greatest Showman took us, it took eight years to get made. We did, we did a lot of workshops over those eight years and the very final workshop was where the, was for all the studio heads, right? This is the one where we found out if we were gonna get the movie made, swear it worked, it worked. But, um, <laughs> but that, at that final workshop, we were all really nervous about it. And uh, that was where the song, This Is Me, was sung for the very first time. <laughs> and it was, it was sung then for the first time because it had only been written two days before by Justin and Benj. They actually, I have a photo of them writing it on the plane from LA to New York. That's <laughs> <laughs> Brian and Irv. <laughs> this is not Justin and Benj. <laughs> Yes, let's hear it for Irving and Brian. <laughs> if Brian does security for me, Irving is my assistant, and they're both fine. I want to be very clear. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> okay. Have we actually got the photo of Justin and Ben? There they are, <laughs> Justin and Ben. Okay, so there's Justin on the Casio keyboard. Trust me, if Irving wrote a song, none of you would have listened to it. <laughs> but that's, that's when, and that's Benj Below writing the lyrics. Now those guys, you know, they wrote that on that plane. It was an all-nighter, it was a red eye, right? And who knew the 40,000 feet in the air, these guys were writing an anthem that spoke to all of us, right? <laughs> As P.T. Barnum once said, no one made a difference by being like anyone else, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Jenna Lee James and my incredible company to sing, This Is Me!